My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here today is the One Tigress Kamita tent. And this is an episode of Before You Buy. This is a brand new tent that just hit the market. And get this folks, it's a fourth season tent. I've already done a preview on this and I have to say this tent is very impressive, especially for the money. With that being said though, there's a lot of testing that I need to do before I can pass on my review of this tent. Anyways everyone, what I call this series is Before You Buy and it's all about the setup process. I'm going to go over every single step to show you all how to set this up. First things first, I recommend a ground sheet. One is not included with this tent, so you have to use your own. Go ahead and spread out the ground sheet and we'll separate the components. Undo the compression straps, loosen the draw pull. We have tent stake skylines. This is the storage bag, and here we have the tent. These are your tent poles. Set these aside for now. Take a second to spread out the tent body and then grab your tent stakes. Make sure to orientate the doors the way that you want to. This tent has two doors, one on the front of the tent and another on the side. If it's a windy day, you can go ahead and stake out the corners of the tent, knowing that you may have to make some adjustments later on. And once you put the poles in, you may actually pull the stakes from the ground. That's okay. But if you have to secure the tent, go ahead and do so. Once you have it staked out or not staked out, depending on your needs, go ahead and grab your tent poles. Go ahead and set these up. You will see that you have two poles and they are both the same length. Now everyone, it's time to locate the pole sleeves. There are two of these, one here and one here. With each one of these sleeves, you will find corresponding grommets at the bottoms of the tent. So here's one, and here is a sleeve. The sleeve goes around the body and down to the other side, where you have another grommet. Now, the poles and these sleeves connect to a strap that needs to go underneath the tent. The same applies for this side of the tent. If you have the strap over the top of the tent, it will not set up correctly. So if it's on top, just simply pull it under, and that will take care of it. Now you're going to take your pole, find a sleeve, and insert. and you're going to push that pole about 10 inches out the other side. Now repeat those steps on the other side. Take your pole, insert into the sleeve, and push it through until it's sticking out roughly 10 inches on the other side. Take the end of the pole and insert it into the grommet. Do the same with the other pole. Once you have that done, go to the other side of the tent and complete the setup process with the poles. If you find that it's hard to get this pole into this grommet, loosen this strap here. You can pull it tight later on in the setup process. Now go to the other side and repeat. Now my friends, grab four tent stakes. Let's stake out the front and the back of the tent. In this case, I'm going to start with the front and then move to the back. At this point, the setup process is almost complete, but there's a few things left that we need to do. First off, we need to walk around the tent making adjustments to every single stakeout point. Also, we need to go to where the poles meet the grommets and make adjustments to the inner. The inner with this tent connects to those points and can be tightened. That's going to pull the inner taut and make more space inside of this tent. While it's hard to show you all, here on the back side, when you stick your hand underneath the fly, you can feel a strap that connects to this one here. That is how you adjust the inner for the tent. With this being the first time you've set up your tent, you need to attach your guy lines. You will find where the poles curve and go into the grommets that you have this cordage. And on this cordage, you have a metal O-ring. This is what you're going to attach your guy lines to. With this tent, there are four guy lines. So attach them now. Once you've completed this step, you'll see that you have two guy lines remaining. Those guy lines go to this side door. Down at the bottom, you'll find a strap. That's what you want to attach the guy line to. There's one here, and there's one back here. Go ahead and attach the guy lines now. Once you have that done, everyone, you will need two tent stakes and two trekking poles. Then go over to the tent, opening up the sides. Extend your trekking poles, attach to the top, and stake them out. And 
And now everyone, you will have a full-fledged awning and also a second entrance or exit. And just like that, my friends, we are done. That is how you set up the Kamita tent. All in all, that is a very easy process. There are a few things that could trip you up. For an example, where the poles meet the grommets, there's those straps that go underneath the tent. Make sure they're underneath the tent before you begin setting this up. Also, if the inner is not tight, make adjustments around the body of the tent and also up here at the top. It should be said that you can take out this inner if you don't want to use it, which is a really nice feature. What is also a very nice feature is this awning. It's a very warm day, I'm out here in the sun, and now I have full protection. Some additional advice that I have for you all with this tent is to be careful getting in and out of it. The bathtub floor is rather aggressive. It sticks up roughly seven, eight inches. That's quite a bit. So make sure to watch your feet when you're getting in and out of this. Right there you have it, everyone. That is how you set up this one Tigress tent. All in all, this is a very simple process. Again, there's a few things that could catch you up, but if you pay attention, you're not going to have any sort of problems. You'll get it set up very, very quick. Remember this, if the inner is saggy, if it's loose, just make some adjustments to it. And you can make those adjustments where the inner attaches to the fly. For this episode of Before You Buy, I am done. Make sure to sound off in the comment section. First, what do you all think about this tent? What do you all think about the color? Next, what do you all think about the price? This is $260 for a fourth season tent that's made from nylon. That is a very impressive price considering that most budget-friendly fourth season tents are made from polyester not this one. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel for more episodes concerning this tent, including adventures and also a test night. Very soon I'm going to get this out and test it for waterproofness, and we'll find out together whether or not this tent is storm worthy. Please make sure to hit the like button before you go. It does help the channel. If you want to support a channel that's agenda free, you can do so. Patreon, YouTube, you can join the Wolf Pack. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll address them if I can. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. Bye for now.